Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss two examples, right? Two functions. So what they have asked here, determine the poles of the following function. We have to find poles and find residue at each poles. We have to find poles as well as we have to find residue at those poles. Okay. So let me write a given function first. We have, what is the function we have? Let me write it is z e raised to z upon z minus a raised to 3 right so uh, pole we can easily find here it's very simple function okay so let us find a point where the denominator will be 0 what did you say it's a no since if i put z is equal to a a minus a 0 so a is a pole what will be its order 3 since that bracket has power 3 so z is equal to a is a pole of order 3 so here z is equal to a is a pole of order 3. So now next task is to find residue of f at a. Let us find residue of f of z at z is equal to a. So actually the definition of residue is B1, okay, B1 that means in a Lorentz expansion, the coefficient of 1 upon Z minus Z0. But see, when we have pole, fortunately we have two formulas to calculate residue. If you have simple pole, pole of order 1, we have very simple formula and to calculate residue, okay. And when you have pole of order greater than 1, we have a second formula. So here order is 3 which is greater than 1. So I will go for the second formula. No need to worry. I will write the formula here. Actually, in previous video, several times we have seen, but let us write the formula again. So the formula is 1 upon n minus 1 factorial limit z tends to z0. Z0 means that point, huh? a. z0 is a here. Uh, after that, n minus 1 derivative and z minus z0 which is a raised to n f of z so this is formula to calculate residue okay uh, n is 3 our n is what 3 order is 3 so let us put n is equal to 3 3 minus 1 2 factorial limit z tends to a n my 3 minus 1 2 so i should write here second derivative z minus a raised to 3 n is 3 f of z is this one so z e raised to z upon z minus a raised to 3 so next task our favorite task cancel out okay this bracket okay let us continue so 2 factorial means 2 into 1 which is 2 itself 2 limit z tends to a okay second derivative we have to calculate second derivative of what z e raised to z okay so actually here we have to use u into v formula since we have a product of two functions that formula says u into derivative of v plus v into derivative of u product of two functions we have. So we have this formula to calculate derivative when you have product of two functions. What is my u? My u is z and what is my v? e raised to z. Okay. So 1 by 2 limit z tends to a. Second derivative that means we have to calculate derivative two times. Okay. What will I do? I will write this d by dz as it is and I am going to write here d by dz of z e raised to z okay two times derivative never express in this way 1 by 2 limit z tends to a d by dz now i am using this u into v formula z derivative of e raised to z plus e raised to z derivative of z okay so do you know derivatives tell me then what will be the derivative derivative of this d by dz outside the bracket. Huh? Let us solve this bracket first. Z. Derivative of e raised to z, e raised to z. Derivative e raised to z as it is. Derivative of z, 1. Derivative of z is 1. 1 into e raised to z, you will get same e raised to z. See, problem is not over. Still, we have to take second derivative also. Simply, we calculated derivative one time only. 1 by 2 limit 
z tends to a addition is there we should take separate separate derivatives that means derivative of z e raise to z plus derivative of e raise to z so 1 by 2 limit z tends to a so derivative of z e raise to z we have already done same no so it's derivative we have got z e raise to z plus e raise to z let me write directly since already we have calculated and what about this e raise to z derivative is e raise to z now we have to apply the limit that means at a place of z we have to put a everywhere so 1 by 2 a e raise to a plus e raise to a plus e raise to a i hope it is visible okay i am writing here huh? that just small part is remaining 1 by 2 a e raise to a plus e raise to a plus e raise to a 2 e raise to a e raise to a we can take common so 1 by 2 a plus 2 e raise to a so this is required residue okay so be calculated residue here uh, one more example is there huh? uh, just make a screenshot of it then we will go for the second example so let us discuss this second example okay uh, let us write first this is our f of z we have f of z 1 minus e raise to 2 z upon z cube see our task is same we have to find poles after that we have to find residue at this at those poles right so here you can easily see z is equal to 0 will give us the 0 at denominator that means it will be a singular point okay I'm not calling it as pole. I'm not sure. Why I'm not sure? Because if I put z is equal to 0 at numerator, it is also giving us 0. See, if I put 0 here, na, e raise to 0, 1. 1 minus 1, 0. That means if you put the 0, our numerator will be 0 as well as our denominator also will be 0. Okay, so it is creating complications. Since it is indeterminate form its value is not defined so that's why just by putting z is equal to 0 you cannot say it's a pole of order 3 getting we need to simplify it so observation method fails here we need to work on it and then we will decide it is pole or not but i'm sure it, it will be pole since they have already mentioned and after that we have to find its order and then we will go for its residue right so after that what we have to do uh, we need to take the help of Lorentz series expansion. We will expand it in a form of series as a Lorentz series and then we will decide what will be its pole and what will be its order. Okay. So obviously here let me mention here z is equal to 0 is a singular point. We are sure it is a singular point since it is creating complications. Function won't be analytic at 0 since denominator will be 0 but I am not sure about its type. That means it is pole or not. Okay, we will check it. So it's a singular point. So I will find Lorentz series expansion. Same function I will express in this way z cube 1 minus e raise to 2z. Okay. So now I am searching for a standard function. So I got that standard function is e raise to 2z. So when you have e raise to z or e raise to 2z, 3z, sin z, cos z, 1 upon 1 plus z, 1 upon 1 minus z, log 1 plus z, like that. We have very standard series for them and here also I am going to use those series. Okay, if you don't know, I will mention the series here. So, this is a standard series of what? e raise to z. I, I am going to use this series for e raise to 2z. So, 1 by z cube, 1 minus, simply at a place of z, we have 2z. Huh? 1 plus 2z, 2z square that means 4z square by 2 factorial plus 2z cube that means 8z cube by 3 factorial. Next 2 raised to 4, 16z raised to 4 by 4 factorial and so on. See, uh, series is not required. Let me remove this one. Okay. This expansion we have this is equal to 1 upon z cube 1 minus i will solve the bracket we have minus sign outside when you solve the bracket all sign will get change let us do 1 minus 2z minus here also minus all sign will get minus huh? 
फोर झेड स्क्वेअर बाय टू फॅक्टोरियल मीन्स टू मायनस एट झेड क्यूब थ्री फॅक्टोरियल मीन्स सिक्स राईट मायनस सिक्स्टीन झेड एस टू फोर फोर फॅक्टोरियल मीन्स फोर इंटू थ्री इंटू टू ट्वेंटी फोर अँड सो ऑन सो लेट अस कॅन्सल आउट फ्यू टर्म्स इफ पॉसिबल इज इट पॉसिबल येस डेफिनेटली नो सी दिस प्लस वन मायनस वन विल गेट कॅन्सल मायनस टू झेड टू टू कॅन्सल मायनस टू झेड स्क्वेअर अगेन टू टू कॅन्सल मायनस फोर झेड क्यूब बाय थ्री नाव एट एट विल गेट कॅन्सल एट इज अ कॉमन फॅक्टर ऑफ सिक्स्टीन अँड ट्वेंटी फोर सो एट टू झा सिक्स्टीन अँड एट थ्री झा ट्वेंटी फोर अँड सो ऑन एम आय राईट येस सो लेट अस मल्टीप्लाय इच टर्म बाय दिस वन बाय झेड क्यूब सो मायनस टू झेड बाय झेड क्यूब मायनस टू झेड स्क्वेअर बाय झेड क्यूब मायनस फोर झेड क्यूब बाय थ्री झेड क्यूब मायनस टू झेड एस टू फोर बाय थ्री झेड क्यूब सो झेड झेड कॅन्सल हियर मायनस टू बाय झेड स्क्वेअर झेड स्क्वेअर झेड स्क्वेअर कॅन्सल टू बाय झेड झेड क्यूब झेड क्यूब कॅन्सल फोर बाय थ्री झेड क्यूब झेड क्यूब कॅन्सल टू झेड बाय थ्री अँड सो ऑन राईट सो आय गॉट द लॉरेन्स इज एक्सपॉन्शन सो दिस इज अ ॲनालिटिक पार्ट सिन झेड अँड न्युब्रेटर अँड दिस इज प्रिन्सिपल पार्ट राईट प्रिन्सिपल पार्ट सिन झेड इज ए डिनॉमिनेटर अग्री सो हाऊ मेनी टर्म्स आर देअर इन अ प्रिन्सिपल पार्ट टू टर्म्स फायनाईट नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स डेफिनेटली इट इज अ पोल सो देअर फोर झेड इज इक्वल टू झिरो इज ए पोल If you have finite number of terms in principal part, 101% it is a pole. What is the highest power of Z in denominator? 2. So it is a pole of order 2. So we got the pole as well as its order. So let us talk about residue now. Residue of f of Z at Z is equal to, uh, no space is there, huh? at Z is equal to, zero z is equal to zero so actually if you have pole we have two formulas to calculate residue but see i will not go for residue formula i will go for the definition which depends on lorentz series okay already we have calculated lorentz series no so just by observing it we can easily find residue by definition so residue definition of residue is simply b1 that means coefficient of 1 upon 1 by z 1 by z okay 1 upon z coefficient of 1 by z is residue so what is coefficient of 1 by z minus 2 so its residue is minus 2 okay since we have already found out lorentz series expansion so simply i use the definition of residue and i got it okay so example is over here just make a screenshot of it then we will stop Thank you. See you in next video.